Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. It's Brandon again, and I wanted to make a quick video update here to let you guys know that I did in fact have my powerlifting meet yesterday, September 21st in New Haven, Connecticut. It was the IPA Connecticut State Open Championships. So it's about an hour and 45 minutes from my house. And honestly, I was really debating going last minute. I almost pulled out only because of everything that's been going on recently. Number one, it was an hour and 45 minutes away and I was very lazy. I didn't want to have to drive there. And you guys know from traveling overseas to Australia and Singapore, I ended up taking about eight days off. I came back from my trip and I was transitioning into a new program, which I'll talk about in a video soon to go in line with me getting coached by Mark Lobliner. But changing up my split a little bit. And whenever I take a week off, I never really like to go into it full force because I find that I tend to get very sore very easily, not to mention new routine on top of that, same kind of thing in place. So I was thinking to myself, you know, it's an hour and 45 minutes away. I haven't done one of these in a long time. I had a week off of training. I had this new program that I'm coming on to and I was really sore, not really feeling up to it. I was really mentally psyching myself out. And I think with weight training, especially powerlifting, the mental aspect is really big. So I was very close to not going, but at the last minute I decided to go. And also with the convincing of my girlfriend, she kind of pushed me and said, no, you have to do it. You signed up for it. Plus I didn't really want to let you guys down. I know a lot of you guys were actually looking for this to a lot, even more maybe in some cases than I was. So we got up yesterday early in the morning the weigh-in started at 8 a.m. and again, being almost two hours away, we had to leave here around 6, 6.30. We got there, we weighed in. This was something I was also struggling with because ideally I would have competed in the 220 weight class, which means basically anyone from 199 to 220 pounds. However, because I really haven't been too strict with my dieting these last couple of months, probably since August, I was really fluctuating around 222, 225-ish. And all of that would have been fun and I wish would have gone into the higher weight class. The higher weight class was up to 242 pounds. So I would have been the very lightest among those competitors. And ideally, again, I would have wanted to be at 220. So I weighed in and I weighed in at 219.5 or so in just my skivvies. So I barely made it. So I was happy about that. Now, as far as the actual competition itself goes, there was a lot of people there. I wasn't expecting that many people. There was probably somewhere between 40 to 50 lifters when it was all said and done. They separated us into two different flights of competitors. So depending on where your starting weights were, they'd put you either in flight one or flight two. I was put in flight two, so I had to sit through and watch people do their lifts first. Now, as part of this, I might go in depth in a later video to talk about some of the issues I ran into and maybe it can help you if you're doing a powerlifting meet or you're thinking about doing so. I know it's definitely gonna help me for the next meet I go into, but there was a lot of waiting around. I was literally there for almost 12 hours yesterday, so it was a long, long day. I didn't do a very good job of packing food or anything like that, so it was very interesting to say the least. But again, I can talk about those in later videos if you guys are interested in hearing more insight into those. So as far as the lifts go, for those of you who haven't been to a powerlifting meet before, it starts with squats, you get three attempts, and you're not allowed to go down in weight, meaning that in most cases, people for their first attempt for whatever lift they're doing, try to aim for a weight that they know they can get. It's called their opener. You then would go for your second attempt, assuming you got the first attempt, for what your max should be. And if you get that, your third attempt should be something around a PR. Again, coming from my own specific situation, I really wasn't sure where I was going to go with this only because I was so thrown off with my training and taking the time off. So I wanted to be a little bit conservative when starting out. You guys might have seen my video I did about a month ago talking about practicing my openers. If not, I'll link it in the description box as well as an annotation on the screen. So I will show you some clips. My girlfriend was nice enough to grab some on her cell phone. I brought my camera to film it, but literally it was so crowded and the timing was just off. I couldn't really set up the camera myself. So we didn't get that part done. So you will see some clips. But as far as the squats go, I opened up with four, 455, which I got no problem. I then bumped it up to 495, again, no problem. And then 510 for my final and I got that actually somewhat easy in my opinion. Now, we did use a monolith for this and it, the first time I used it, it was interesting, but it's also really cool. So you'll see that I got three green lights or three white lights, I just should say, for clearing on all three lifts. So that was really good because that really set me off in a good mindset. Now, next lift that came up was bench and bench was something that I know has been struggling with me lately, especially with the pause aspect. It's not something I'm used to and unfortunately, it's not something that I really practiced. So 
I started with bench with 275, got it no problem. Bump it up to 305, got it no problem. I then went to 315 and I did not get that. So my bench definitely needs work. I need to practice that pause and just my benching in general. So as of right now, um, we then moved on to deadlifts. So for deadlifts, my opener was 495, no issues there. Bumped it up to 525, no issues there again. Then bumped it up to 550 and again, no issues. Now looking back at this, I probably should have gone heavier on my squats and my deadlifts, but again, I just wasn't really sure where I was at. And I'd rather just kind of get the lifts done rather than fail on these attempts. So as far as my total goes, it ended up being three, uh, not three, 1365, so a 510 uh, squat, a 305 bench, and a 550 deadlift. It wouldn't, that actually put me in first place for my weight class. So I got this nice little trophy, which I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with this thing. Um, but 1365 total for my first meet in probably about 15 or 16 years. So I was quite happy with that. I couldn't really have asked for anything better, obviously. So that was cool to do. I'm also going to throw some clips on here from some of the other people. I'm going to throw in a 680 raw uh, squat. And the guy who did this actually ended up totaling 1,800 pounds all raw. So it was cool. And I'm also going to throw in a 770 pound deadlift that someone did for their opener, which was very quite impressive. So overall, it was a great experience. Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was a long day. And I have to give a big thank you to my girlfriend out there because she came and she sat through the whole thing. Again, it ended up taking around 12 hours and it ate up our entire Saturday. But I'll show you some clips. I'll probably put some numbers on here. I'm not going to do any other commentary. I appreciate all the support you guys have shown me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And as always, in the meantime, stay big. Brandon Campbell Diamond, I'm sorry, 455 on the bar. Lifting in the open, 20 pounds of bacon. Oh, yeah. 510 pounds on the bar. Five and a quarter for Diamond. No problem. Come on, Brandon. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Let's go! All right.